But um, the, the next question we had was, um, what are True Potential doing for clients with technology at the moment? I think Greg's mentioned a little bit about VNext, which is our client, our, our advisor-led technology. But I know there's been a lot of work behind the scenes in terms of our mobile apps and the client sites and things. So maybe you could give a bit of a teaser to some of that, Diane. Oh, um, yeah. So like Greg mentioned, we do have we have a range of client bases, one of them being the advisor base, where we spent a big portion of our time developing the solution that the advisors use. Because while in part it was a bit of an upgrade that everybody expects from time to time, we also try to deliver features to the advisors that they've requested, things that matter to them that we wouldn't necessarily think about because we're not doing their job all day, every day. So we've managed to get the page speeds down to, I think, 75 percent are now being returned within a second. And yes, don't worry, I will be having words about the other 25 percent that aren't within that one second. Um, but yeah, things like providing the advisors with um, crystallised and uncrystallised portions of clients' pension giving them a bigger document upload limit, simple things like that, that, like I say, will make a huge difference to their work in day. And then what we take from them also is the feedback that they either get from their clients or the clients that come direct to us. So what we've recently done is we've enabled push notifications on the mobile apps. And that is to, we I think on one of the previous podcasts that being clients had said it was nice, it was refreshing to hear that there was some good news in the markets that it hadn't all been doom and gloom. But when you listen to the media, the markets are down. Don't do this. It's all it's all very, very bad news. And I think what we did is we enabled push notifications on the apps to drive clients to to genuine facts as opposed to propaganda because somebody wants you to believe in something. So, yeah, we've enabled push notifications. Like I say, we'll drive them to either certain articles or media pages that will provide them with factual information. But we're also at the minute um, developing part of the app that will allow them to further enhance their own financial understanding, if that makes sense. I don't want to give too much away. Mm. But um, in in light of recent permissions and things that have gone on with the FCA and what application providers can do, we have applied, we've got those permissions and we will now be opening up a range of items within the client's mobile apps to give them the ability to harness all of their finances in one place as opposed to true potential here, everything else, somewhere else or in a multitude of apps. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense, Diane. I, mean, I, I can't remember the exact number, but I, the, the bit of research shows clients typically only use two or three apps yeah. daily in, 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 in total. As I say, apologies, I can't remember the exact figure. So some of our thinking there is instead of having a separate app for your banking and one for your investments and then one for what have you if we can make true potential the the app for all all things financial um then our clients don't need to flit around apps they don't need to remember multiple passwords and what yeah. have you they can log into true potential they can look at their investment performance they can read the commentary from jeff and the team they can check their banking they can check their credit cards but then also they can interact with their products as well and jamie i know something that the tech team have been doing with you and the pensions team is the online drawdown system. Is, is, is that live now for clients? Yes, it is, Dan. So for us, the, there's two options for clients if you if you want to take uh, income out of your pension. Um, obviously, you can go through through an advisor and they can set that up and assess, you know, the best place to take the product. Uh, but if you actually, you know, you just want to go online and, and take some income out of your pension, um, you can now do that you know, via the website where it used to be a, a phone um, a phone call for us so it's a little it's a lot more it's a lot smoother for our point of view um, and we've been trialing that for the last couple of months so selected clients have been using it and that's now fully live for clients it's been uh, very well received Brilliant. And I, again I think it's the second time I've said this today but selfishly if I put myself mm. in the shoes of a consumer it just makes a lot of sense to be able to go online and help yourself rather than sitting on a telephone you went I, I know we've got a wonderful telephone team. We, we really do. I love them the bits, obviously, available almost 24 hours now, as you're saying as well, Jamie, with the, your worldwide coverage. <laughs> but I, I, I'd much rather go on, go into my app or go into the website and just fill the form in and help myself rather than sit on the phone to do such a task. So um, very welcomed. And I know that it's to, to maybe maybe to some of our audience out there, they probably think it's you know well, why you know why are you getting excited about being able to fill a pension form in? <laughs> well, 
from from a user experience point of view, to walk in that fine line between keeping it easy for our clients to do, but also using the regulation. Yes. It's 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 been darn tricky. So it's a, a great bit of work between you, Jamie, and, and Diane with the tech team there. I think Dan as well. A comment on it. You just look at you look at some other other providers will force you to use an advisor to do this. Yeah. So and you know. I've, I had personal experience with with helping clients uh, on this, and it can take weeks, you know, for something which should be pretty relatively simple. And yes, there is compliance and the regulatory reasons behind things that you have to do. Yeah, um, yeah. But this is a huge leap forward for us in terms of making it just a little bit simpler for clients in terms of having that access. Good. Thanks, Jamie. And, and uh, I, I mentioned um, during through, through the apps and through the websites, we can also uh, get a lot of the communication available from True Potential. And I'll say, if you know, everyone hopefully watches Jeff and the team do the daily morning markets. And if we just look at May in terms of, of output from there, the, the True Potential team produced 92 videos on, on YouTube and on Facebook. I think, Jeff, you were in 90 of them. <laughs> so your voice is still going strong. <laughs> right? so we can, we can